is good to see Notts County back in the Football League after four years away and their return sees them take a trip to the VBS Community Stadium to face Sutton United on their first assignment back as an EFL club. This is never the easiest place to go for any side at any point in the league, but it's who Notts come up against as they are highly fancied to make it back-to-back -back promotions under Luke Williams as they get to show League Two fans today possibly what they're made of for the season ahead. But today is just a good day to save them for Notts County fans back in their rightful home of being a Football League side again, and most importantly, a feeling of being back where they belong. As Amari Patrick and Josh Coley, two of the summer acquisitions in the Sutton lineup in their opening fixture of the season. Rob Newsom is there as well, a former Notts County player. The Notts County themselves have a real talking point of an acquisition. Prolific in League One for Derby just down the road. David McGoldrick swapped League One football for League Two football with Notts County, hoping that he can be a big player in their push in League Two. This man sending the ball forward, long punt which Kashkit will chase. Got the better here of Rawlinson, still goes on. Challenged by Rawlinson's a perfect one, it's a Sutton corner. Went all the way with Kashkit in that foot race there. Big sliding challenge, timed it brilliantly. Let's count his goal, could be laid under siege here as Sutton are packing the six yard box. In by Milson, goes in and Kinsey's there, wants it more, and Knox County trail inside the opening two minutes here against Sutton United as Joe Kitsey puts Sutton in front. Well, he just bullied his marker, the Joe Kitsey able to get there in front of his man. Too powerful ahead of the Stone to keep out, and Sutton, a very big side, make use of their physical attributes from the set piece. Robinson here looking to go back to his keeper as he know will get away from Smith but it's sold short as Kashkit intercepts the pass Stone has caught him as he down he goes Kashkit and the red card is shown to Aidan Stone well this is turning into a nightmare first 15 minutes back as a football league club for Notts County is Aidan Stone on his Notts County debut He's shown a red card. Well, he tried to get the pass back. Kashkit read it, intercepted, and knew exactly what Notts County were trying. The big attribute of theirs is playing from the back. Sutton have pounced on that. As Aidan Stone is sent off, and it's forced to rethink for Luke Williams. It's a free kick here, which they could find themselves two down from here. Wilson will take. Only just past Sam Slocum's goal. He went low, he went away from the wall. Beat Slocum to beat the post. And there's now Harry Smith charging forward. And he finds Amari Patrick. He will flick towards Smith, he's come back to Amari Patrick. Goes wide of the goal. And it's just unrelenting at the moment from Sutton. Notts County really are struggling to deal with Sutton with everything they throw at them. Mary Patrick on the hunt for a debut goal after signing from Carlisle in the close season. Cameron, the captain. Jody Jones, who of course played for Malta in the recent international break. Kitsy, the goal scorer for Sutton. And towards Amari Patrick. Brilliant finish. And there's the second for Sutton. It just gets worse and worse for Notts County. But it's the complete opposite for Sutton as it gets better and better for Matt Grayside. Look how easy it was for Sutton just to play the ball to the edge of the Notts County penalty area. Patrick onto it. And it's an absolute pearler past Sam Slocum. And it's a nightmare upon their return to the EFL for Notts County so far. It's a gold trick. From Eastman shooting from range. He's dived, but it's out for a goal kick. First sign of life of David McGoldrick in the Notts County attack. Target with that attempt as he hit one wide of Moses' goal. Oh, giving it straight though to Sutton's midfielder Eastman, who has been clipped by John Bostock. Not clicking for Notts County so far today. 
Johnson forward. Has landed at Smith's feet. Him and Buterman seem to get in the way of each other, but it's Patrick now taking account of things. It goes in there! Brilliant header, which is smashed off the bar from Kashka. Smith back in, blocked by Nemain and out for now. Well, Sutton was so close to making it 3 0. As Cash gets denied by the bar. They're living dangerously here, Notts County. <laughs> Sutton, remember, did end last season with an 11 game winless run, losing nine of them as they completely fell away from the top half of the table to finish in 14th. Ball into the penalty area. It's an opportunity! And Patrick is there! And it's 3 0 to Sutton United! Two for him, not a bad introduction to life as a Sutton United player for Amari Patrick. As they continue on a left off from the first half by striking when the iron top to make it 3-0. Well, they're at sixes at sevens, are uh, not counting defending this. Brilliant play by Josh Coley. One new signing to the other one. Coley with the cross, Patrick with the header. Slocum helped it in with his hand. And it's Sutton United 3, Notts County now. Who would have thought this? <laughs> By Rose. All the way through it. Slocum was going forward. It's gone off Brindley and led to a Sutton United corner. It's going to be taken in from this left hand side. It goes right the way in net. Cameron away. Eastman will hit it off the post. And unable to turn it home is Goodliffe. Yeah, the offside flag is raised. Well, how close was Sutton to making it 4 0 on his chest? Eastman hit it left footed, bang off the post, back into play. Goodliffe struck it with his left foot. It's actually nearly gone out for a throw rather than closer to the goal, but Sutton will just keep on coming and coming at the moment. Certainly, hands watching this, a real coupon buster this result. Sutton looking like the one more. It's a chance here, and there is the fourth. There's Harry Beautyman, drops more sold into the Notts County wounds. Pass Sam Slocum and into the back of the net. What a dream opening day this is for Sutton United. Too strong, laid into him, and there he was to finish off. Brilliant finish. Sutton have a fourth, and Harry Beautyman is the man to get it. Chickson. Slocum. Just go long as McGoldrick flicks on. Langstaff chasing. Goodliff battling. Langstaff sends Goodliff on the floor. Langstaff towards McGoldrick. And there is a debut goal for David McGoldrick. Well, it's going to be nothing more than a consolation, but at least he's up and running. There's a Notts County player. And won the header above Kitsy. Langstaff just leaned into Goodliffe. He went down. Langstaff knew he had to play it to a fellow Notts County player, which he did. Who he, did he play it to? You guessed it. David McGoldrick puts it in. And it's Sutton 4, Notts County 1. Touch by Harry Beautyman. Now through to Kitsy. Clip ball in towards Smith. Too strong for his man. And there is the fifth. As another debutant is on the score sheet, and it's the big new number nine, Harry Smith. Well, they may have lost Omar Boogie in, in the summer, but they may have a new hero in Harry Smith. Kitsy with a lovely clip cross. Who did he find? Harry Smith, who headed it in past Sam Slocum. And it's Sutton 5, Notts County 1. Yes, that really is the scoreline here at the VBS Community Stadium. <laughs> Great did say in the build-up to this game pre-season does not matter. Certainly bringing their A game in their first competitive match of the season, and how good were they? They have 
annihilated Knox County here by five goals to one. Two goals from Amari Patrick, Joe Kitsy, Harry Beautyman and Harry Smith, Saul Sutton score five. The first time ever as an EFL club, they've managed to hit that figure. Knox County will pull a goal back with David McGoldrick, but Aidan Stone sent off, did not help them out. They've witnessed history as Sutton score five. It's a horror show on the opening day for Knox County, full time. Sutton United five, Knox County one.